Ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. Census just put out a projection on the U.S. population. The U.S. population is declining, just like the European population is declining. It's just that, you know, you got people in charge that love fudging numbers and playing with numbers. And, and I think when they give these far out projections, what they're actually doing is trying to buy themselves more time to stay in power, you know, but there is no buying of any time. When your time is done, it is over, period. So they're claiming that the U.S. population projected to peak at 2080. Now, I saw another article, it said 2030. So you can see, you know, these are all just fudging of numbers that we always get. So this is according to an analysis put out by the U.S. Census. Projections released this past Thursday the, on the country's population, it will reach nearly 370 million by 2080. And by 2100, it will decline down to 366 million. It's the first time the census projections have indicated the U.S. population will decline, according to William Fry, a demographer uh, for the Brookings Institute. But as the U.S. population ages and the birth rate declines, you, we know whose birth rate is declining. These latest census projections reveal how the numbers of newcomers arriving in the U.S. could significantly change this picture going forward. Yeah, see, that's why they're trying to rush all these immigrants in here. You know, their population is declining pretty quickly. Trust me, they wouldn't be doing all of this if it wasn't. And our population is growing, but we are going through a medical apartheid. You know, when our women go in the hospital healthy and then all of a sudden they die during childbirth or the baby dies, these are not natural things happening, y'all. It's not. You know, I guess they figure their numbers are in the toilet, so they're going to make sure our numbers are in the toilet too. So we know the baby boomers are aging out and they're going to continue to age out. And they are the biggest population, especially in the white community. So when their baby boomers are gone, their population is going to be much smaller than what it is now. It's already happening to the children. There are less white children in this country now. It's not as many. So now, in addition to what this analysis predict is the most likely scenario based on current immigration trends, which they are forcing upon us, all of this stuff is being forced upon us, y'all. All of it is. The projections show that the U.S. population growth could look like uh, with higher immigration, lower immigration, or zero immigration. In the zero immigration scenario, the U.S. population would peak next year with 333.4 million. In lower immigration scenario, it would peak at 345.9 million in 2043. If immigration increases, then the population is projected to continue climbing through the end of the century. So, ladies and gentlemen, these projections emphasize that immigration is even a bigger contributor to long-term or to our demographic growth and stability than perhaps it was in the past. You know, wait, well, you got to understand the people that are putting these numbers out, their numbers are declining. So they're trying to look for other scenarios 
in keeping the population up, although they won't be able to do it. So their answer is immigrants. And I'm telling y'all, immigration is not the answer. It is not the answer. And you'll see what I mean. Number one, these immigrants, if something goes wrong in America, they are gonna go right back across that border and go home. They have zero loyalty to this country. They don't have no loyalty here whatsoever. All right, if a war break out, these immigrants ain't gonna get on the front line. They're gonna go home. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna go home. And, you know, you gotta also look at the changing of presidents. Now, Biden has decided to open the floodgates. So they're coming in every which way right now. But right now, Trump is actually leading uh, Biden by big margins in certain states. And Trump is going to get these people the hell up on out of here. He's going to have them thrown right out of here. And all these perks and everything they're getting, he's going to take all that mess away. All right. So giving these projections, that's all it is. It's a projection. And if things keep going as they are, Trump will defeat Biden. Biden just don't have the numbers. And he done ticked off the black community. You know, you don't know what kind of turnout that's going to happen when it comes down to the black vote at this particular time. So when you say if you have high immigration, but you got Trump stepping back in, your high immigration would be temporary, wouldn't it? I'm just saying. And I and I said it before, I don't believe immigrants are the answer. You know, you don't really have that stable population among them. And number two, immigrants can't vote. At least the way you have the laws now, they can't even vote. So I don't know. But we shall see. But I, I don't believe immigration is the answer. America is in desperate mode, especially the people that have the low birth rate. They're in desperate mode now. All right. So the census analysis also predicts a slower rate of population growth than previous projections due to a new data reflecting recent trends. Census demographer Sandra Johnson said in a news release, the U.S. has experienced notable shifts in the components of population change over the last five years, Johnson said. Some of these, like the increase in mortality caused by the pandemic, are expected to be short term, while others, including the decline in fertility, that have persisted for decades, yes, like since the 50s, are likely to continue into the future. Why focus on immigration? Well, here's why they are saying this government is focusing heavily on immigration. Expert lo experts look at three factors when predicting population growth, births, deaths, and immigration. For years, demographers have pointed out that the U.S. population growth rate is slow as birth rates decline. When that happens, in the past, immigration has made the difference up. But how many people come to the U.S. can change based on policies and politics here and around the world. A document explaining Thursday's census projection says immigration is most uncertain of the population change component used in projections. How the U.S. compares to other nations, but despite 
the uncertainty, immigration is uh, important. This is what they're saying. See, they're not talking about, y'all, they're not talking about the Haitians and the Africans. They're talking about the ones coming out of South America. They may not be white, but they're close enough. That's what they're talking about. We're a country that's getting older. It's growing more slowly. Immigration is able to put some of the brakes on so that we're not in the situation of Japan or Germany or Italy. But you know what, y'all? Those places also tried immigration. You just got to go and look. Those places also tried immigration, which have more difficulty in terms of the already slow labor force and declining populations. Overall, the world's population is rising but could peak at a record of 10.4 billion by the mid 2080s, according to the United Nations. And this year, India overtook China to become the world's most populous country. Meanwhile, China and many Eastern European nations have started to see birth rates drop. In fact, I mean, even in the West part of Europe, they have seen a major drop in births. Now, I did a story a few weeks ago where Italy reported no births in the entire country for the last three months. So, um, you know, it, it, that is probably going to get worse. Wait until they go six months or even eight months or a whole year. It's definitely coming. Many demographers and economists see cause for concern, but some environmental activists are less worried, describing potential population declines as a trend that could help the planet. Still, Fry says... Something about the latest census projection stands out. The low rate of population growth and the projections of a decline are something we've really not seen for most of our lifetime until now. Yeah, I mean, that's true. You know, we're at the end now. In the final days, you don't need no population growth. And I don't believe there's going to be much of that, even with immigrants. But, y'all, we shall see how this unfolds. I'm just telling y'all, I don't believe immigrants is going to be able to save America. You know, you just got people in desperation mode right now. And that's why they're doing these things. Because you heard what Joe Biden said. Oh, well, you know, the Hispanics, they're bigger than you. You're going to have to go to them to get things done. <laughs> We don't go to them to get nothing done now. Please. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.